Hi everyone, it's Coco. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am happy to have a place to share videos with you. Um, just a little more in depth than a caption and a photo. And today I'm super excited because it's the first time I've had the courage to open up and talk a little bit about my health journey. Um, most of you know in July of last year, 2019, I had my very first injury. I tore my MCL in the wave pool in Texas. I missed my first event in j -Bay. That was very sad. Um, but you always find the positive. Everyone's like, oh, a break. And I was like, yeah, first break. Um, but it's not like that when you're injured because you're in the gym, you're trying to get better. I was trying to I had deadlines, I think four weeks was um, Supergirl and US Open, so I was really trying to be before the curve and be able to surf those events and didn't happen. I was nowhere near ready at four weeks. I took seven weeks actually to heal from a grade one tear of my MCL. Um, and that was okay because it wasn't meant to be. But on the journey of healing, I was so excited to return to competition, the strongest I've ever been because I'm spending the past seven weeks in the gym. When's the last time I've ever done that? Um, but that didn't happen. Seven weeks went by. I started surfing in August in Hawaii. I felt good on my board. Um, I could surf for like an hour hour and a half and then be sleep the rest of the day or just kind of be like oh I don't want to do too much more I'm, I feel tired or feel like I'm about to get sick so I kept at that pace for a few couple weeks when I started surfing I'm like why can I only go to the gym or surf like I can't do both I used to be able to do both um, so I had a couple red flags in my head, didn't tell anyone, didn't ask anyone. Um, come early September, we went to Lemoore to the surf ranch to start practicing for the event. And uh, at the wave pool, there's so much adrenaline, you're just trying to complete waves. I was trying new boards and new fins, so I wasn't really paying attention to my body and if I was too tired or not. practice in Lemoore I didn't feel the fatigue I think I was so excited to return to competition there I did well the year before I love the wave um, I was very distracted with boards and fins and the excitement um, but after the three days of practice I went home to our spot in Encinitas and I was getting treated by our dear friend um, a physio and I started voicing to her like I'm so tired. For one session a day when I was in Hawaii, I was tired. Or I could either go to the gym once or surf once. Like, this is weird. I look so healthy and I'm not. And uh, I knew something was, at this point I knew something was wrong. And she sent me to a functional medicine doctor down the road. Um, I immediately just went before the event in Lemoore started just to hear her out. And by my uh, new patient form, um, just the symptoms like, oh, my hands were cold or always cold. Um, what other, the, the tiredness. Um, literally, I can only remember like five strange things that I clicked yes to. And uh, she's like, I think you have Epstein-Barr or a thyroid issue. And I was like, I'm so healthy. I don't know how I could have a thyroid issue or it doesn't look like I have a thyroid issue. And I've never had mono, so I don't know. I don't know. And I just had that in the back of my head, but I went to compete. I went to the surf ranch. You surf two waves a day, so I wasn't fatigued. Um, I also had no idea. 
then we leave for Europe. It's time to go to Europe already. I don't get my blood drawn before Europe because I could not believe that I could have a thyroid issue. I did not believe that I could have mono without having mono. In France, I started to get really tired. I'm like, okay, it's jet lag. Okay, the waves are bad. Like I don't, it's not me, it's the weather. And, um, so I started to notice that I didn't want to surf and I didn't really know how to voice it to my coach. And um, he started to see the signs and I was like, ah, okay, I think something's like wrong with me, like with my health. And we got through France. I didn't get the best result. And we go to Portugal with hopes that we need one big result and, um, and then seal the deal on Maui. And we get to Portugal. It's a little colder than France. I'm a little less motivated than France. And two days before the event, I get a scorching high fever and absolutely no voice. Like, hello, you have mono. That is my voice. Do you still love me? <laughs> Even though I sound like this. And I couldn't believe it because I was like, she told me three weeks ago, four weeks ago that I had Epstein-Barr. And um, so it was very prevalent that I had it. Uh, I got through the event, I surfed, I did win one heat. And uh, I probably scared everyone in there with my voice. And I finished the event, got another ninth, that sucked. And went home and was like, I don't care about the tour the rest of the year. I just wanna be healthy again this has been the worst two months of my life. So moving forward, I got the test. Epstein-Barr was high, thyroid issue, high. Sometimes they coincide, sometimes they don't. Um, a virus will attack where is weak in your body at the moment. So if my thyroid was a little off, it was very off because the virus was hanging there. Um, so from then, uh, after the blood test, I went back to the functional medicine doctor and I had some very big life changes. I have a vitamin basket this big. And uh, no, I don't travel with the basket, but I travel with all the vitamins. And um, I'll just take you through the, the basics. But um, vitamin C and lysine daily, morning, time. Um, what I love about for viruses, these are kind of the killers, is zinc um, and monolaurin. So raw zinc and that's iron, monolaurin. And I think that's synthetic. I don't think it's natural, natural, but it's for viruses. Viruses cannot live that well in you <laughs> with this. Um, yes, and believe it or not, we're all a little deficient in vitamin D. Vitamin A and E are great for um, the immune system and just not letting viruses be able to thrive in your body. Um, I also learned it's crazy how much you learn or you don't learn until you're sick um, with anything, with something. And so from the process, I um, learned so much through the medical medium and he's amazing he has podcasts he has books this big um and i learned two very important things for viruses and two health changes that i live by and that's no eggs they are a virus's favorite food and uh celery juice so that's a daily for me and that just there's a book this big on celery juice but um it just cleans out the toxins the metals and that's what viruses cling to, to thrive and to live. And they can't when you are always taking that. The moral of um, the end of my 2019 was listening to the body, kind of seeking help maybe sooner. Um, if I did do the blood test, I could have been on the antiviral diet prior to Europe and things could have changed. Um, the one thing I am proud of is learning all about everything, thyroid, Epstein-Barr, um, no eggs, celery juice. Um, 
is definitely a journey and I it was meant to happen <laughs> um, I do feel a little more prepared today with all the corona craziness I hope you learned something from it from my experience um, one question I'll never know the answer to is did the injury have anything to do with my immune system and um, I'll never know. I can almost say maybe, yeah, stress, who knows. Uh, so don't stress and enjoy life.